Hey guys! So, Russian propaganda has insisted, even still, that there are no new Ukrainian weapons, and that all of the weapons in the Ukrainian army are Soviet designs from the 1960s, while Ukraine's newer and more effective weapons are brought from the West. But it is well known that the new Ukrainian military developments are being used abroad and have a stable demand. Ukraine has also been in the top 10 countries for exporting weapons. Moreover, after the full-fledged invasion into Ukraine, the Russian army has felt the full might of modern Ukrainian weapons. There are tons of videos online of Ukrainian soldiers successfully using the Stugna P anti-tank system and the Neptune missile launcher system was able to sink the Moscow, the flagship of the Black Sea Fleet which literally sent a group of ships to the Black Sea to its knees. So let's take a look at Ukraine's most successful military developments together. So let's start with the sensational Neptune missile system that is designed to send enemy ships to the sea floor. The coastal, mobile missile system is armed with R-360 Neptune anti-ship missiles. The system successfully passed all its tests and has been in the Ukrainian military since 2020. The system is composed of a command vehicle, a launch vehicle with transport launch containers, a reload transporter, and another transport vehicle. The first division is made up of 19 special vehicles, including six launch vehicles, six reload transporters, six transports, one mobile command vehicle, and 72 winged R-360 Neptune missiles, and it joined the Ukrainian Navy in January of 2022. The 16-foot missile with a 15-inch diameter is designed to sink ships with a displacement of up to 5,000 tons. It flies at a subsonic speed of 560 miles per hour, and flies at super low altitudes of 10 to 33 feet above the waves. Its high explosive warhead weighs 330 pounds. It can hit a target up to 174 miles away. The missile can move during flight and its self-targeting head has a super high angle of observation of plus or minus 60 degrees that can see and hit targets 31 miles away. It is also resistant to enemy radar interference. The military portal Defense Express uses the American Harpoon missile as an example of a missile with weaker specifications. Namely, its observation angle is only plus or minus 45 degrees. The Neptune missile can sink enemy cruisers, destroyers, frigates, and corvettes, as well as landing ships, tank landing ships, and transports that are moving on their own or as part of a ship group. The uniqueness of this anti-ship missile, unlike other known foreign models, is that it can destroy both ships and where they are based. Additionally, the Neptune system can hit several targets simultaneously. In mid-April 2022, the missile was used in combat for the first time. On April 13, 2022, two R-360 Neptune missiles hit the Moskva missile cruiser, the flagship of Russian Black Sea Fleet, which exploded its ammunition, resulting in the cruiser seriously careening and finally sinking. The cruiser was laid down in the 61 Kamenara shipbuilding plant in Mykolaiv in 1976, and it was commissioned into the Soviet Navy in 1983. It was the lead ship of the Project 1164 Atlant class. The ship was named originally Slava, Glory, but after the anti-ship helicopter carrier cruiser Project 1123, Condor, Moskva, was decommissioned in November 1996, the Slava inherited the name Moskva and became the flagship of the Black Sea Fleet. By the way, the cruiser had a private cabin for Putin, and that's how Putin once visited Italy to see his then-friend Silvio Berlusconi as if on a yacht. 
The cruiser Moskva was 611 feet 7 inches long, 68 feet 7 inches wide, had a draft of 27 feet 7 inches, and a displacement of 11,280 tons. The flagship was armed with an AK-130 artillery system, six SAM AK-360 missile systems, eight anti-ship P-1000 Vulcan winged missile launchers, eight SAM C-30 533mm missile systems, and two OSA MAs. The Moskva was the base of the Ka-27 helicopter, and it also had an advanced long-range radar station designed to detect air and surface water targets called the MR-800 flag. It was under repairs from 2018 to 2020 in Sevastopol. One of the cruiser's missions was to provide anti-air defense for remote, friendly meetings. But it turned out that the glorified Russian anti-missile system could be beaten. Two R-360 Neptune missiles struck the port side, while the ship's attention was drawn away by a Bayraktar TB-2 drone, whose attack most likely damaged the ship's ship detection system. Finally, we'd like to mention something interesting. So the Moskva cruiser became sadly famous partially after the attack on February 2022 to the Ukrainian garrison on Snake Island, when they responded by the ship's offer of surrender saying, Russian warship, go F yourself. Two half... Two and a half months later, the Moskva did as ordered. First it burned, then it sank like the landing ship Saratov outside Maripol. The Sniper T-Rex Sniper Rifle. It's a single shot, high caliber sniper rifle using 14 and a half by 114 millimeter cartridges that has been used by the Ukrainian military since 2020. Before the full-scale Russian invasion, Rifles and carbines were the most sold exported weapons by Ukraine. The single-shot, long-range, high-caliber Snipex TRX rifle is designed to shoot moving and stationary targets, including lightly armored ones. It's designed with all the requirements for highly accurate shooting in mind. It's a classical rifle with the minimal possible weight, no automatic firing, and is designed for rough terrain, including sand and mud. The rotating bolt is placed behind the breech. The rifle is designed with all the requirements for a firearm and can be used with either the right or left shoulder and also has a height adjustable cheek rest. The rifle has a bipod, an adjustable rear support, which lets the shooter make any adjustments they require. The rifle has a Picatinny rail that can be used to mount various sighting devices. The Snipex T-Rex can shoot a bullet at 1,000 meters a second, 3,280 feet per second, at a range up to 4.3 miles with an effective range of 1.9 miles. The rifle's accuracy is achieved thanks to its floating barrel, which is in free recoil when the bullet flies out. Ukrainian snipers have used these rifles to easily shoot Russian Tigers and fortified defense points while remaining unreachable for enemy snipers. The anti-tank missile system, Stugna-P, Skiff. It has been used by Ukraine since 2011. The system is semi-automatic and has a laser targeting system. The system can fire 130 mm missiles with various warheads placed in containers. Its max firing range is 3.1 miles. The guided missile can be armed with various types of warheads, including tandem charge heat, HE fragmentation, and thermobaric. The tandem charge heat warhead can penetrate dynamic defenses, burn through armor, and explode inside without giving the crew a chance to survive. The missiles are NATO certified and can be used by Alliance members. The base version is installed on a tripod launch platform, has a missile container, targeting equipment, and a control panel for remote control that lets the shooter fire from a distance. Battlefield skiffs have modern TVs installed so they can hit targets at night up to 1.9 miles away. A new mobile anti-tank skiff based on the CF Moto Tracker 800 
was developed for the Ukrainian Army's needs in 2015. The ATGM can be installed on a cargo truck bed with the remote control panel and three reserve missiles. The truck can also carry firearms. The ATV has a crew of just two people, and it has a max speed of 65 miles per hour. Thanks to its mobility, the anti-tank ATV can carry out surprise attacks against an enemy and quickly change its position, making it effective both in urban warfare and in fields. The Stugna is the main component of the modern Ukrainian anti-tank weaponry. It's the main anti-tank missile alongside the Javelin and the Enla. Unlike the Javelin, the Ukrainian Skiff has a larger caliber, hits targets twice as far away, and the soldiers have a chance to get to safety after firing. It's also several times cheaper. That doesn't mean that there are no downsides, however. Soldiers have to correct the missile's flight path manually, but that doesn't stop them from effectively hitting both tanks and other land equipment, as well as Russian helicopters. The Vilka Missile System It is a tactical multiple rocket launcher with 300mm ammunition. It was developed based on the 9K-58 Smirch rocket launch system. It entered service in the Ukrainian army in 2018. 15 Ukrainian defense companies worked on creating this system. In 2019, a modernized Vilka-M was developed with a missile range of up to 81 miles. The MRL has 12 rockets, each with a warhead weighing 550 pounds, and separate targeting. The rocket itself weighs 1,760 pounds. Now, an advantage of the Vilka is its high accuracy in hitting its mark, thanks to the rocket's guiding systems that correct the rocket's trajectory using pulsed thrusters at the start. Towards the end of its flight, when the rocket starts to descend, the front of the rocket reveals air rudders. The navigation system integrates signals from a global navigation system and its own inertial system to generate commands for the rudders. Additionally, with a volley of 12 rockets, the Vilka can hit 12 different targets. The RS-30 Vilka has been used since the beginning of the Russian invasion in Ukraine on February 24, 2022. As of March 2nd, they have executed about 50 accurate rocket strikes. The Tank BM Oplot this modern Ukrainian battle tank is a new model from the T-84 tank series. In 2009, the tank was introduced to Ukraine's armed forces. The tank has a combined commander panoramic sight with independent day and TV channels, which provides the ability to conduct aimed fire from a remote-controlled SAM machine gun at air targets with an ascending angle of 60 degrees. The sight is independent of the navigator's TV and the commander's laser distance measurer. It also has new radio communications devices and a complex motion control system that provides an automatic transmission and planned turns while the tank is moving. The BM Oplot tank has a combined defense system that includes passive armor, a built-in duplet dynamic defense system capable of stopping heat ammunition with tandem charge warheads, and many other systems that increased the tank's survivability on the battlefield. Testing showed that the BM Oplot can withstand fire from any modern cannon at a range of 330 feet. The tank's main weapon is its 125mm smooth barrel cannon that has automatic container-fed ammo. It also has a hot gas ejector, heat insulation, and is stabilized in two planes. The cannon's barrel is quick to remote and can be replaced in battle conditions without dismantling the tower from the tank. The tower rotations use electricity, and the cannon moves using hydraulics. The tower can rotate 180 degrees in under 5 seconds. In case of an emergency, there are mechanic means of aiming the cannon and tower. It carries 46 rounds. The BM Oplot is also capable of firing armor-piercing, heat, and HE fragmentation rounds and use the combat anti-missile system with semi-active laser targeting. The tank can fire 8 rounds per minute 
thanks to the automatic reloading and tandem ejection reload per cycle. It takes 15 to 20 minutes to load the automatic reloading container. The tank also has a SAM system and twin machine guns that can be controlled remotely. The first sales contract for the BM Oplot abroad was signed in 2011. Thailand's Royal Army ordered 49 tanks for $240 million. The tank was chosen in a competition that included the South Korean K-2 Black Panther, the Russian T-90, and the German Leopard 2. The Oplot's biggest weakness is the number of them in Ukraine's armed forces, only two. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to leave a like, comment, let me know what you learned, and we'll see you again next time.